Why does international relations matter in today's world? The big things in international relations, war, negotiations, treaties, where borders were drawn and so on. These things affect how all of us live our daily lives. They affect which religion we were brought up in, which languages we speak, uh, which countries have good land and which countries have fewer resources. International relations as they've played out over the centuries basically shapes the big and important things in world politics and we do well to remember this when we think of oh, international relations, that's just a boring old subject. Now, what is the crisis of the global business as usual and why isn't the world working? The world isn't working these days because of the ideas that made us over time. The ideas that contributed to how we think about living globally the ideas that made us patriarchy, capitalism, nationalism, racism, proselytizing religion, these things that have made the contemporary world what it is today, have made a world which is characterized by millions of people not living well, in fact living very badly. A major theme of critical theory is the goal of emancipation. What do you mean by this? Emancipation is, I think, in its essence, a very simple idea. What is complicated is how we put it into operation. This simple idea was, for me, best expressed by an English carpenter chartist in the 1830s called William Lovett. And in the title of uh, one of his books, he talked about bread, freedom, and knowledge. Bread means, bread symbolizes freedom from material want. Knowledge symbolizes freedom from superstition, ignorance, being told lies by governments. Um, freedom means being out from under oppressive structures, whether these oppressive structures are economic, or tyrannous political structures.